हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल इजी पीजी वो कैप आई वांट टू आस्क यू क्वेश्चन हैव यू एवर नोटिस्ड और लर्न टू कैपिटलाइज डैड और मॉम इन अ सेंटेंस इन द फर्स्ट इमेज यू कैन सी अ गर्ल विथ अ प्रेजेंट डिड डैड गिव यू दैट वाई डिड आई कैपिटलाइज डैड इन दैट सेंटेंस इन द सेकेंड इमेज यू कैन सी अ फैमिली गोइंग ऑन हाई hiking right my dad takes us hiking and dad here is not capitalized do you know the reason why i'm going to talk about this rule in this video so please stay tuned and welcome back again we're going to talk about the capitalization rules in this video i'm going to explain you the first five capitalization rules rule 1 capitalize the first word of any sentence this is the first thumb rule in the first image you can see a soccer ball a declarative sentence makes a statement and gives information you know that right so that is a soccer ball so t in that has been capitalized in the second image you can see a boy holding the ball and is ready to throw an imperative sentence gives a command throw the ball that means i'm telling you to throw the ball i'm giving you a command in the third image you can see someone trying to inflate the ball right so an interrogative sentence asks a question how to inflate a soccer ball so how h has been capitalized in how in fourth image you can see three soccer balls you brought me three soccer balls that is showing excitement and why in you has been capitalized this is an exclamatory sentence which shows emotion or excitement rule 2 capitalize a person's name and initials for names in the first image you can see a man and he says hi my name is louis pierre smith so l p and s have been capitalized in the sentence if you take the initial instead of peer if you take only p p also has to be capitalized hi my name is louis p smith l p and s have been capitalized if you just take the initials the initials also need to be capitalized hi i am l p s do you notice that in the second image you can see a boy and his name is louis h lafontaines is louis h lafontaines middle name henry did you notice that we are capitalizing person's name and initials as well rule 3 capitalize a formal or informal title so what is a formal title formal titles are given to specific people with formal authority like the general like the doctor so it's giving to specific government officials or people in military or royal family members or religious leaders and even doctors lawyers and certain other academic professionals In the first image, you can see General James McConnell. Here, you're capitalizing his entire name, right? In the second image, you can see a doctor, Doctor Mitchell Smith. Informal titles. When you say Aunt Sally, you're referring to a particular person, right? Aunt Sally. So that has to be capitalized. and the third last image you can see an old lady she's grandmother helen and we have capitalized jean grandmother and h in helen so capitalize a formal or informal title rule 4 capitalize a title that is alone if a person's name can be inserted as a substitute in the first image you can see a girl taking money from her mom i asked mom some money why did we capitalize m in mom remember 
if you can insert a name in place or as a substitute to mom and if the sentence makes sense then mom or dad will be capitalized in that sentence now i'm going to replace reena with mom and let's check i asked reena some money and that makes sense right so here mom has been capitalized but in the second image you can see a family my grandmother and dad took us to a movie now let's try to insert names in place of grandmother and dad my sue and tim took us to the movie does that make sense no right you cannot say my sue right so here grandmother and dad are not capitalized if you remember in the first slide we talked about capitalizing dad in the first sentence did dad give you that now let's replace dad with jim did jim give you that and that makes sense that is the reason we have capitalized dad in that sentence in the second sentence my dad takes us hiking there if you say my jim takes us hiking does that make sense no right so we don't capitalize dad in such sentences got it rule 5 always capitalize the pronoun i may i speak with your manager in the second sentence or second image you can see two girls are having ice cream my friend and i love ice creams so always capitalize the pronoun i now let's do an exercise use capital letters where needed let's see the first sentence my favorite subject is english so what do you think based on rule 1 the first letter in any sentence should be capitalized right the first word and the first letter in the first word is m so you have to capitalize m my favorite subject is and you're talking about a particular subject right so english e should be capitalized in the second sentence i studied about the boston tea party i we learned that a pronoun i should always be capitalized and the first word in the sentence should be capitalized so i should be capitalized studied about the boston tea party boston tea party is a is, refers to a particular name right so it has to be capitalized last year dad and aunt mary went on road trip now let's see try to replace names with dad and aunt and see if that makes sense last year jim and mary went on a road trip yes that makes sense so here we have to capitalize l in the first word then dad and aunt last year dad and aunt mary went on a road trip she is dr gonzales this is a formal title right so we need to capitalize dr and gonzales as well and the first letter in the first uh, word she she is dr gonzales the doctor will see you tomorrow so here we need to capitalize the first word so t has to be capitalized in the but we don't capitalize doctor because it's a common noun it's not uh, referring to any specific person so we only capitalize the last month mr james was hired as a teacher here l should be capitalized then mr james it's a formal title so last month mr james was hired as a teacher so last and mr james has to be capitalized hope you all understood thank you so much for watching please do like share subscribe and comment for more videos thank you so much